Okay, I want to do this video about the foxglove. It's a biennial plant, not a perennial, which means it has a two-year lifespan. I read this on an article that some people commonly mistake these beautiful, gorgeous plants as perennials, but it, it's not. It's a plant that mimics perennials because there's this flower when it matures, it releases these tiny seeds that can be self-sown once they plant on the ground. That's really interesting. The flowers on top, they're so pretty. And these plants come in varieties of colors like white, pink, blue, uh, Dalmatian peach, Candy Mountain. Oh, this is a sort of pink plant. I have no idea why those two in particular are called that, but they're really pretty. Yeah, so I'll look up this care guide that I found. According to this, a foxglove bears tall, dramatic spikes of tubular flowers with speckled throats. Foxglove blooms in midsummer and adds elegance to a perennial border woodland area or shade garden about this plant. Foxglove's low growing foliage is topped by a two to five foot tall flower, depending on the variety. Yeah, flower colors, as I said, include pink and purple and white, yellow, blue. I figure it's probably a good idea to look up caring for this plant because when I took the earlier video with the foxglove, it was like, it was fine, it was perked up, but after a couple of days, when I was off work, the plant drooped. It's leaning close to the ground. I put it in the shade because according to the guide, it survives either with full sun or partial shade. I'm not sure what went wrong, so it's still pretty much in the partial shade under this Japanese pine tree that's next to my bookstore. Uh, it's my first time caring for a foxglove, yet this plant can take care of itself once it matures. To do that, if you want the plant to self-sow and multiply, leave the flower spike, the flower that's on top, intact so the plant can mature and disperse. Yeah, so I'll do just that. I also read that this plant is poisonous. I read this article about this woman. She was cleaning up her flower beds and she cut off the long stems on her foxglove where the seed pods are and one of the stems burst in her face and she accidentally inhaled the spores and pollen. She was she had this really bad allergic reaction to it. She had to go to the emergency room. She could have done it much sooner if she had known. She had to go to the emergency room after some days. Her husband um, saw her spitting up blood. Yeah, so if you're, uh, you have pollen allergies, people, be careful. Cover your nose and mouth if you do something like this. And also, be careful with this plants around pets and children because the, the leaves, they're also poisonous if eaten. Yep, so gotta be careful. These plants are pretty, but they're also deadly. Wow, I knew there was a reason why I was getting fascinated with this plant. Yeah, so I'm not sure what I did wrong with the one that I have. It's drooping. And after reading that article about the woman getting poisoned, I'm definitely going to be careful and not really mess with it at all. I know I'm not allergic to flowers or trees, really, or any plants at all, but I'm definitely going to still be careful. It's better safe than sorry. What a good idea to do a video about this. Yeah, I think this is informative. It's sort of entertaining. I love the pictures that I found. 